Welcome to episode 234 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. Today, we're going to talk about making it meaningful as we trade one pain for another pain. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So one of the things I've gotten to do over the last couple of weeks, especially because we're recording so much content for my company, Asotu. It's asotu.com if you're interested. Um, we create tons of content. We just launched a new podcast. We do a daily show. We're having a big conference in Philly in September, asotucon.com if you're interested. Uh, it'd be cool if you came and hung out with us. It's going to be amazing. But um, I get to talk to a lot of people. This new podcast we're launching called Auto Collabs. Um, I've just literally last week probably I've spent several hours in interviews alone, maybe more than that. Um, and so I get to meet all these people and all these thinkers. So all these ideas and thoughts are coming up from all different areas of the country and business and you know development and growth. And one thing has gotten lodged in my brain this week and I wanna share it with you. And the, the gentleman we were interviewing, his name is Tommy Gibbs. He was a football coach. Um, he um, was an auto dealer. He's a, a trainer and a coach. And the football coach part is, is pretty awesome because he's got the accent from it. You know, it's like Southern college football coach mentality. And basically, he said this. You have to decide if you want to trade the pain of discipline for the pain of regret. Which one do you want? Do you want the pain of discipline or do you want the pain of of regret. And it just hit me. It's stuck in my brain. It's stuck in my heart because the reality is any decision you make in life, any direction that you decide to go, you are trading one type of pain for another type of pain. It's never easy. There is no easy street. There is no way that doesn't require something of you. There is no way that doesn't require you to give and sacrifice and do things you don't want to do and enter into discomfort to get what's on the other side. So it's either like you get it now or you get it later. The pain of discipline is actually difficult, which is why a lot of people don't do it. Because the pain of discipline requires you to enter into structure and routine and discipline is more about saying no to things than it is to saying yes to something. Think of it, diet, fitness, um, education, you know, professional development, con construction, right? All of that requires seemingly doing things that cause you pain, discomfort, feel like maybe you're even going backwards before you can realize the things that move you forwards. If you're, you know, you're exercising, you have to get up, you have to lift heavy things repeatedly, you have to be sore afterwards, you have to adjust your diet, you have to say no to the junk food and the sugar and the volume of food and the timing of when you eat. You have to say no to different types of sleep cycles and maybe staying up late, you have to say no to staying up late. When you choose to, let's say when you choose to have children, right? You're choosing to say no to a whole lot of things, primarily your selfishness and your freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do to pursue your best life in the moment because you know that having children is something that you're choosing you want for your legacy's sake and for posterity and for just fulfillment in your own life. But heck, when you have children, you're entering into a lot of pain, like literally physical pain in childbirth, but also the pain of hauling stuff around and getting less sleep at night and the pain of waking up and the pain as the kids get older, right? You have to be emotionally there for them. So maybe you can't, you know, you can't do your lessons and all the little things that you used to get to do because you have to be there for your kids. And when kids get older, right, they need you emotionally present. There's one thing like when you have two, three, four, five year olds, they need you to be there and, you know, kind of do the thing. But when they're older, they actually need you to be, be paying attention and willing to focus all of your interests and attentions and things that you have going on in life, focusing on them. So you be emotionally present. All of that is pain. I'm not saying it's not fulfilling. I'm not saying it's not great. I have four children. It's the best part of my life. Wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm so glad I'm going through those pains because on the other side of those pains and throughout also the process is this deep fulfillment. So we take it back to, do you want the pain of discipline or the pain of regret? Once you get to the point where you have regret 
and you look back and wish you could have or wish you should, you think you should have, you can no longer do anything about that. You can't go back in history. And in my mind, the pain of regret is frightening because I know I only have a certain amount of days on this planet. I only have so much time here and I have no idea what that amount of time is. I might not make it home today from work. I know my wife hates it when I say stuff like that, but it's the truth. Could get sick, hit by a car. All these things could happen. We're not guaranteed another day, which means that regret could be this close, this close. And so choosing the pain of discipline or the pain of building or the pain of taking a risk or the pain of anything over the pain of regret is something that I think is worth it. You know, a lot of you, without a doubt, of the people listening to this podcast, people are in the middle of decision-making processes. Should I do this or should I do that? Should I take this job? Should I take that job? Should I start this business or stay in my job? Should we start a family now or start a family later? Should we buy this house or should we continue to rent? All of those decisions, all of them. (laughs) Here's one. Should I stay friends with this person or should I, is it time to part ways? If you're an employer, should I keep this person on board or is it time for them to leave? Decisions are hard. Decisions are, are something that really require pain on one side or the other. A decision means you're moving this, taking this, and letting that go. So whatever decision you're in, think of it in context of the pain it caused because no decision, the grass is not greener on the other side. It just isn't. That direction requires pain too. The other side has pain on it as well. Do you really understand what that pain is? Have you thought about it? Or are you caught up in this rosy perception that there is a world or life that doesn't require some level of pain and discipline and action and sacrifice on your part to make something that's worth it? So I wanted to share that with you this week because literally everything in my week has been recontextualized through that principle. I hope that gives you some perspective and some clarity on the decisions you need to make or maybe some perspective and clarity on decisions you have already made that either encourage you to keep going in that direction or maybe adjust course a little bit. But as always, thank you for spending some time with me. It's so good to be with you. I will see you next week. We came to fight.